The Academy of Music is one of the finest theaters ever built. From the turn of the century into the next, the fantasy and beauty of yesterday come to life today as we journey into the Academy of Music. This majestic landmark stands in the heart of downtown Lynchburg. The Academy is the oldest performing arts theater in the state of Virginia. The theater has seen hard times, but is still one of the finest examples of Beaux-Arts architecture to be found anywhere in the world with nearly perfect acoustics. Completed in 1904, the Academy opened its doors with its first major production, The Showgirl, starring Stella Mayhew. In the years that followed, many other productions were shown, including Romeo and Juliet, The Butterfly, and probably the most challenging production ever undertaken, Ben-Hur. This performance included a cast of over 250 and eight horses in the climactic chariot race. In 1911, only six years after it was erected, the Academy of Music caught fire. Driven by determination, the Lynchburg community came together to raise the roof once again. After six months of intense manual labor, the theater was reopened in 1912 with a new stage and improved acoustics. The Academy immediately became the theater of choice for the performing arts in the southeastern United States. In the years that followed, the Academy attracted stars from around the world, show after show, performance after performance, from Paderewski to Fairbanks to Pavlova. Top directors, conductors, and performers filled this hall with their grace and magic. As time marched on through the 20s and 30s, the advent of motion pictures caused a shift from theatrical performances to this exciting new medium. In the decades that followed, the Academy tried to evolve with the times. After a struggle to stay open, it was ultimately closed in 1960. This once thriving hall was reduced to a hollow building with only empty shadows and the memories of stars long since gone. After lying in decay for 33 years, a tornado ripped the roof off of the Academy in 1993. The damage was so severe that rather than repair the roof, the entire stage was completely torn down, destroying nearly 81 years of heritage. At the Academy's darkest hour, it was feared inevitable that the building would be condemned. But once again, as was the case after the fire in 1911, a group of passionate Lynchburg residents came together to rebuild the academy. However, with low funds, work was slow and tedious. A million different things and all of them cost money, all of them take a lot of work and uh, a lot of talent. And any money or talent that we can get in here just gets the building that much done that much faster. But work never stopped and hope was never lost. As the doors reopened, more and more residents became enthusiastic about the possibility of rebuilding and restoring the theater they had long forgotten. So I think when people see the storefronts again and they see the, the facade of the theater as it is and the gold medallion over the door and the new doors that will be in place in the next week or so, they will say they're really doing something there this time. This could be the center for a whole region. I bet it's going to be a theater that promotes diversified performance. It's going to draw in everyone from the region because it's going to present something for everyone. One of the things you have to remember is this building was one time just a tobacco warehouse. And they tore it down and they built this beautiful building. Uh, in 1905, by 1910, it had burned and they rebuilt it. So they can build it and then rebuild it. We can sure do it one more time. And this time, hopefully, it'll be the last time. It'll last for many generations of Virginians to enjoy the theater and, and everything that it can offer to us. With the growing support of the city of Lynchburg and its surrounding communities, 
the Academy of Music will again proudly fill the empty shadows with new beauty, energy, and talent. <laughs>